In my hurry to see Wyoming, I forgot that Utah had to be crossed first. Two aspects of this state always come to mind. First, the scenery is absolutely beautiful, even in the winter, especially if you're a skier. And secondly, there are these guys. Utah seems to have a lot of Mormons, and they must like to travel. The first ones arrived in Thailand back in 1854, but apparently didn't have much luck with the locals. According to the government's National Statistics Office, there is close to 70 million Thais, and Buddhism makes up about 94% of practicing religions in Thailand. Islam and Chinese religions come in second and third. Coming in dead last is Christianity. I have seen a few Mormons walking around Bangkok and supposedly there are about 20,000 members living here in Thailand. This photo from their Facebook site shows a temple being built in the big mango for the congregation. Personally, I don't care what religion, belief, or philosophy someone follows. However, what I do not like is the people offering to convert me to their way of thinking. If I want to join the gang, I will. In my 20-some years of living here, not once have I had a monk show up at the front gate, ring the doorbell, and ask me to become a Buddhist. Then again, it could be they don't want me in their club. The truth is that I know very little about any religion, but to me they are all about the same. They say do this or that to improve your lifestyle, and they all, without exception, appreciate donations. Personally, I give my respects to all beliefs, but that's about it. Here's a short selection of monks that I have seen throughout the years Moving on, here's a little known fact. It is said that Utah has historically consumed more jello per capita than any other state in the nation. So much so that in 2001, the Utah state legislator voted to name jello its official state snack. Be silly, we're going to sing the What's for Dessert Jello song. Ready, Theodore? Ready! Simon? Ready! Alvin? Alvin? Ready, and here's the jello! Alvin, over there. All right. One, two. Jello, jello, time for fun. Lots of fun for everyone. The t-shirt this guy is wearing comes from a big company in Utah, and I have no idea how it got here. No doubt this large organization has Mormon employees, and as such, here is one of their favorite desserts. But first, let's pray. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon in Wyoming.